After a tumultuous production that began as early as the late 80s, this action comedy film from director Peyton Reed was released in July of 2015, earning a surprising half a billion at the box office. Although the film's original director, Edgar Wright, left the project due to creative differences, he's still listed as one of four screenwriters for the PG-13 rated film. The 117-minute story sees cat burglar Paul Rudd giving the opportunity to don a super shrinking suit to help save the world. Mostly known for lighter comedic roles, the affable 46-year-old was an inspired casting choice. He nails the dialogue with his charismatic attitude while still maintaining believability as an action hero. Michael Douglas is fantastic as the older mentor and original Ant-Man. His veteran experience really anchors the movie from becoming too silly or ridiculous. Evangeline Lilly is a spunky daughter, Michael Pena is a hilarious sidekick, and Corey Stoll is the menacing villain. Pena is especially memorable, bringing solid laughs to every scene he's in, while Stoll might be my favorite comic book bad guy since Tom Hiddleston's Loki. When hearing of dire circumstances ahead, Rudd humorously suggests, I think our first move should be calling the Avengers. Now that Marvel Cinematic Universe is a dozen movies deep, the cross-references allow for some really fun moments, including an excellent scene later in the film when Anthony Mackie makes a minor appearance as his Avengers character. As expected, Ant-Man makes great use of its $130 million budget, with tight editing and polished visuals. Seeing the world from ant scale is pulled off with a faux tilt-shift perspective with really inventive and great-looking results. For a prologue set in 1989, de-aging VFX are used to make Douglas look 26 years younger, and the results are absolutely astonishing. With no hint of the uncanny valley, his appearance here is so believable, you'd be forgiven for assuming this scene was filmed during the production of Wall Street. Although it's just a quick opening scene, I'm excited to see how writers take advantage of this technology in the future, as the possibilities for new prequels and sequels are no longer bound by the physical appearance of their cast. The score from Christoph Beck has a low-key heist vibe to it, which makes it a perfect fit for the film's small-scale climax. Unlike most MCU entries, this one kept the story reasonably contained to only a half dozen players and a couple key locations. This isn't some globe-trotting, world-saving mission, but a small job with big consequences. It's a nice change of pace for the prolific franchise. One of the funniest comic book pictures yet, and certainly one of the more unique heroes, Ant-Man is a fabulously fun and amusing adventure for all ages. Now let's see what you had to say. Many praise the visual effects and humor scoring this an 8. I completely agree. It didn't break any new ground, but it really delivered an entertaining time. I'll score it an 8 as well. Yeah.